Hello, everybody, welcome to the episode. Let's play Kotor. Last time we start, well, well, if I remember right, well, we fought Juhani and defeated her. Get it? Well, freeing the, uh, you know what I mean? Basically, freeing her from the dark side and getting her the help she needed. In this episode, we're going to progress into the Sandril Grounds and continue with the Sandril Matali quest. Explore the ruins where the Force Crystals lie. And after that, we'll go to the ruins where Malak was. Uh, where Malak and Revan were earlier in the plot. Because we also, by the way, defeat the Mandalorian Raiders, too. So, yeah. And we also need to, uh... Oh, yeah. So... We also need to, uh, talk to Candorus and Basila, but I'll do that at Wayward World. Hopefully that works. I know it's based on level. I'm just hoping I'm not too high a level for it not to count. You know? Anyways, let's defeat this thing again. Cat, cat the horn, cat hound. Let's make this Give quick. Ah! Yeah. Alright, for sprint. Yeah, let's speak to the Metallic Grounds, uh, well, you know, Sandral Droid. Well, oh, the Sandral gr uh, Ground. This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? Casa Sandral is dead. Casa is dead? Then it is as we feared. You should speak to me like yourself. He will want to question you on the details of the sun's death. Murad left orders he was not to be disturbed, but given the circumstances, I will make an exception. Go into the main hall. Murad will meet with you there. Alright. Open the door, and let's head into Sandral Estate. I have been informed by my protocol droid that you have news about my son Cassis. Your son, your son Cass is dead. I've seen his body. Cass is, is dead? I was afraid of this. Yet in my heart I knew it must be true. What what happened to my son? He was killed by Cathounds who explored the Dantooine ruins. Cathounds? I, I was so certain the Metali family was to blame. But this changes nothing. My own son is dead. I Why never mentioned I the Matalis. Care about the disappearance of my bitter enemy son. Typical. Anything to continue the feud which has become so customary to you people. I must ask you something, though it is difficult for me. My son had a diary, his private personal thoughts. Now that he is gone, I have nothing else to remember him by. Please, the diary means more to me than it ever could to you. I will give you a hundred credits for its return. Here's the diary. Make keep your money. I need no reward for this task. It's mighty generous of you. A little too generous. Shut up, Candorous. I thank you for this. The diary is all I have left of my son. We I forgot the, for the, how much Candorous actually has. Please, leave me to my grief. Well, we're not going to do that, because we have to discuss, we have to, uh, you know. Yeah. We have to see, and this about the Matale son. You are here from the council, are you not? Looking for Shen Matale? Do you know something about Shen's disappearance? My name is Rahasia. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. He is mad with grief, and he is convinced the Matales are responsible. He's not thinking rationally. Cass was killed by Cathounds. This is the Matales have nothing to do with it. Cassus is dead? It is as I feared. Though I'm relieved the Matales are not responsible. My father is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. What did you do? What did he do? You must understand that father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him, but there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. Please tell me what happened. My father has kidnapped Shen Matale. Frick. He is holding him prisoner That's here in the compound. Sandra! A way to get back at the Matales. A way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassus. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. No. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. 
He no longer even cares if the Matales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I am afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. Why are you telling me all this? Shen is an innocent victim in all this. My father is not a bad man, but his grief has driven him to madness. He must be stopped. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the rear of the estate. You and Shen can make your escape through there. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. What's the problem between your families? Alan Matale and my father have had problems ever since they settled on this world. To hear my father tell it, Alan is a brute and a bully, but a rich one. He feels his credits give him the right to step all over normal people. My father stands up to Alan because no one else will. But now he thinks Alan has taken my brother Cassus and has imprisoned Shen as revenge. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. Ah. Hey, yeah, we got light side points, we got experience, we got credits, yeah. Please. Why do you care so much about Shen? Shen and I, we... Well, we have been taught by our families to hate each other, just for being related to our fathers. But I met Shen alone one day in the city, away from his father. And, and Shen was so charming, so sweet. He didn't care at all that I was a Sandral. He just accepted me for who I was, with no reservations. We talked and met again over months and fell in love. My brother Cassus met him too, and they were beginning to become friends. But then this whole mess had to happen. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. I think you can tell what this quest is based off of. Hmm, two families that hate each other. So two, so both, uh, but on both sides of the family, two of the family members fall in love. Uh, one being the person's daughter, the other one being the person's son. Uh, yeah, this is Romeo and Juliet. With Star Warfied. <laughs> the only thing is that, there's, that they're missing three dead people. But, <laughs> oh, we already have one, which is the sun, but we just need uh, a Tybalt, a Benvolio, and a uh, and and also her uh, for the person she is to wed. All right, let's enter this door. Sorry about spoiling ben Roman and Juliet, but it's like one of the most popular stories of all time, so. Alright, just kill. Alright. So, you have probably the best at demolitions, right? Wait, no, you have no demolitions. I didn't realize this. Well, uh. Flashbang yes. going out! <laughs> Alright, but we got some energy shields. Security room. Oh, hello there. I'm thinking about getting implant next level up. Just to get myself a little bit stronger. Why are you using the force on droids? Alright. So we now we have a security room. So who has the best computer use? I think it's probably one, three. Basila? Really? Hmm. What can I do? Alright, Basila. Let's use the computer thermal. Alright. Okay, we don't have the computer spikes to do anything, so can't do crap. North hallway. Can't do that. Top hallway. Can't do that. Security computer room. This one we are. Don't overload the power conduit. We will die. I could do this, but I can't do anything about it. Repair room. Can't do anything about this. Don't have the spikes and I can't do anything about this. This one. And uh -huh. ah! <laughs> There, and we upload the area schematics. So, nothing we can do there. So. Alright, let's reload. Just because, well, we can't do crap, so might as well reload it. Alright, we have that. Yes. And now let's go and fight. Well, let's go explore. Bash the door down! Use our lights. <laughs> you missed! Okay, there we are. That shot the door open. Advanced bed pack. I'm pretty sure that Sandra and Mata uh, that the, uh, the Batale is back there. The Hot Tavale. No, it's this room, actually. And of course I ran right into a live explosive. Like an idiot. Darn it, Evans, stop running into the explosives. Oh, hell there. Alright, credits and medpacks. Just chops the crate in half. 
That's the locked door that we could open, but it's not best you don't. Security room. Hello there. Hello. Hello there. Tap the bits. 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 And let's loot. Loot, loot, loot. Your bike. In a pair of kits. In your mains. In your mains. No. Security control room. Let's open this up. Just to these droids, because why not? And now we're more bolts, and I'll just chop these guys a bit. There's more. Yep, yep it, it stacks. Alright, it stacks! I'm actually not sure if, we'll, if it's level 20 that puts a mech level cap. I think it might be 25 or 30, honestly. But there's a sonic rifle, a new weapon. Alright, response package is an implant. I think the game wants me to have an implant. Okay, and there. In a new weapon, in a new uh, headgear. The Sonic Rifle. The Sonic Damage. Unhit attribute damage dexterity DC. More powerful than the pistol, the Sonic Rifle fires a blast of sound that causes great deal of sensory overload in addition to damage disoriented the target. And that. <sighs> right. I guess we'll swap our lightsabers then. I mean, there's nothing, there's no things with them, so might as well. And then there's the light scan visor, which gives your awareness plus four. They're using valuable tools that increase visual activity by analyzing light in several frequencies above those of normal sight. And a lot of you know, persuasion, feet, could get empathy, but I think I should get positioning now. <sighs> I need both of these, but I have enough levels to get them, but I also need other things, you know? Like, I need to get tough, like, th like this up, or, oh wait, these are, okay, I need to get Jedi Defense up, you know? <sighs> I do need implants, though. Anyways. Force powers. Let's get. Hmm. Let's get. I'll try to keep with force light side powers. You know what? But don't we don't need force valor because we have two Jedi's. We'll have a Jedi that can use this, so I don't need that force resistance. I don't need that. Don't need this. I could use effect mind. Actually, this will help a lot in dialogue. But yeah. But again, I might get stunned. Yes, stun. Stasis field equal is a really good power up, so hit that. Alright, security control room. Nothing in there. Over here is the other side of the building. Another security droid, just chop into this. Slash, slash, slash. And the ticket droid. Security room. That's where we just came from, okay. Full side of the. Or. And the backs. Alright, they're about to level up very soon, so we'll level them up soon. Okay, nothing there. Literally nothing there. Security room, and a bunch of droids. Chop the bits! Not gonna use your force powers, you know? There we are. The, the universal force path. Yes, like a bunch of defense. And level up for the rest of the party. Alright. Phase through Basil, and we got the prison key. More of that for. Alright, let's level up our characters. What can I do? So, Bastila, level you up. Skills, we know what to do. We get the awareness and treat injury, because the best skills you have. And then we can get you... Hmm. Okay, this increased the physical attributes and saving those of, all, of the Jedi and all party members. Of Okay. Alright. Let's get... I could get Choke. I gave you Wound, so... Could give you Force War Wound, too. Let's give you Choke. Did I ever give you that? Did I? No, I did. You need a little bit more dark side powers, Bastila. But, anyways, Candorous. Trade injury. Feats. Two up and fighting. That's it. Now he's basically a super unit and can do much. Alright. I do need to get you a, d a better double blade, though. I have to say that. Alright. Now let's get myself the response package and increase my dex. So, now we have 14, eight, well, 18 instead of... Uh, 17? Is that it? Yeah, you have 17 before, so that will give you 18. And you're now actually at, like, well, have full defense and strength. Yes. Oh, well, there's, there's, uh, Rasha, uh, Rahasia. 
forgot to read the security key. Alright. Rasa. Rahasi's key. Open the, open the rear door of the central estate. Is the key holding the cell in the central the central estate? Please find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please oh, hurry. Please, they are you are Shen's only hope. I'll go now. Please. I just want to leave your footlocker. Mine. And my pack and credits. Money and money and health. All right. And we need a full loop. So, let's go open that door that we went that we walked past and never opened. This one. No, no, the security key we need to open. We could also just cut the door down. And there's Shen with Holly. Who are you? What do you want with me? Are you working for my father? I'm here to rescue you, Shen. Rescue me? No. I won't leave. It's too dangerous. I have literally destroyed everything outside. Oh, I just realized the light is actually gone. I'll protect you, Shen. Let's go. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. Rahasia. She's been trying to convince her father to release me ever since I was captured. Oh, if right. I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. What if I can get you to come with... What if... How, what if... What if we take Rahasia with us? If you can convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. And then Rahasia Rahasia will think dying back on her home and family. And then Who I will stab myself and the Rahasia the will realize that I was still but if she will not go, if, then I too shall stay. I, I would rather that's... face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. And then I then after realizing I am dead, she'll stab herself in the heart. Ugh. My father thinks the Sandals are thieves and liars who followed him here to Dantooine just to steal mm. what he's earned for himself. My father is an egotist and can be violent at times, but I think he still cares for me. Rahasia's father seems to be falling into the same pattern as mine. They're both too unreasonable to be talked to about the other. I think the only hope Rahasia and I will ever have is if we can escape both of them. Please, find Rahasia and speak to her. Get her to flee this place with me. Alright. Okay, Alright, then. We'll stop him again. Could, I would... Alright. Why do you care so much about Rahasia? I was taught to hate the Sandrils, to think of them as evil and subhuman. From the moment I saw Rahasia one day in the city, I knew that my father was wrong. She was like an angel, all white silks and perfume, seeming to float above the crowds. I don't know what else I could have done but fall in love with her. For months I wooed her and tried to win her heart. I believe I have succeeded, but now this has happened. Our families are always coming between us one way or another. Please find her and convince her to run away with me. All right, we will. I could use force persuasion, but that's also kind of not nice. But I also didn't get it. I got st uh, stunned instead. I want to say I should have gone with more of a damaging power like uh, lightning. What are you doing here? Trying to rescue Shen, but he won't leave without you, Rahasia. Shen can be so stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, they're all destroyed. I cut them to bits with a lightsaber. It. I know Shen would rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will meet you outside the gates. I will wait as long as I can, but you must hurry. Whee! Not under house arrest. You leave the house. Hey, probably. I actually think about it, you probably can't, because you're probably, probably worried about a son being missing, but not, that nothing will happen to you. You're back. Have you spoken to Rahasia? Yes, you promised you'd meet, you'd meet us outside. She's not just telling me what I want to hear. But I will have to take that chance. Hurry then, we must not keep Rahasia waiting. And now we have a loading screen. And Shen, we're outside. You're safe. Rahasia! Oh, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you have done for us. We should get out of here quickly. You're right, we should go as fast as we can. I don't know how long it will be before my father realizes we're gone. You're right, we should. And... Bum bum bum. And bum bum bum. The Sandros there and Matales are, are about to kill each Father, other. Father! Mr. Matale! Rahasia! Father! <laughs> Mr. Sandro! Donkey! Allah! <laughs> I knew this was all your doing. Evan! You, you had captured my son. You had taken my Cassus from me long before that. He was already you dead! It. I don't want to hear any of your excuses. Get revenge for your transgressions. You two need to calm down. Please listen to him, Father. Why should I listen to the Jedi? All you want is to remain with that Sandral harlot. My daughter is not a harlot, Matale dog. Both. 
Both of you calm down now. We are trying to be reasonable here, of course. We are sensible people, after all. But our children are being so stubborn. If Shen would just understand that he has to do what I want, this would all be solved easily. Shen is capable of making decisions on his own. No! I won't let you do this! I don't care. Raheji and I will live on our own if you won't accept us. You will do no such thing! I am ah! father, and I order you to come back with me! No, father, I won't. Raheja, you will not leave with this... this Matale boy! I am, father, and you can't stop me! We're leaving for the Enclave! You foolish girl! Do not try to force them to return. You expect us to just let them leave? Droids, stop them! You will not turn your droids on my daughter! Droids, don't let them take Rahasia! Oh, God. We appear to be at an impasse then! And they got away! It is your fault, darling! You were always too violent for your own good! Me? Ah! You're the one who rushed out here with war droids! You're the one who rushed out here with war droids! Shut up! Do not tell me <laughs> what to do, Jedi! The Council will hear of the trouble you caused here today. Indeed they shall! Shut up! <laughs> At least they didn't shoot each other. That is a possible ending. Oh my god. <sighs> I am gonna say that. That's probably the one thing... I really don't like the Sandrills, and I okay, not the Sandrills. The Sandrills I can understand. The Sandrills are kind of cr are, the, the owner's kind of crazy, but at least he cares about his son enough to let uh, or his, his daughter to let her like you know he genuinely cares about his daughter like you know his daughter. Even though I, the Matalas just kind of seem like jerks. Anyways, well not the Matali, it's uh Mr. Matali. I should really say. Anyways, attack. Uh, stun? No, okay, that's worse. And it's dead. When an enemy is stunned, they can't make a move, they can't make actions, so they're just kind of stuck there, so slam them all you want for free. <laughs> Anyways, with that done, we can now head into the cave and check out other quests that we have that we So we have the Mandalorian Raiders quest, which is almost done, and this companion quest that we need to finish. And now we just have to explore the ruins and also this area. Which I showed last day of the Crystal Cave. But. Well, yesterday. But. Or yesterday, aka the 15th. Uh. I, uh. Episode 8. Or. those 9. Episode 9. But anyways. Let's go in the Crystal Caves. Crystal Caves, by the way, warning for if you have arachnophobia, look away. Because Kinnereths are in here. Kinnereths are spider people. Well, not spider people. Spider monsters. Uh, can you attack, please? But yeah. As you can see. Down. That's the wrong attack. Alright. Run for it! Huyah! Flurry! Attack! Yes, haha! And there's more crit and there's some crystals. And we just took out all the kinnerets. Some oh never mind, not all of them. Yep, almost all of them. Ow, I I guess. And we'll stun ya. And the hive kinnerit. In your list, but hey, Candorous, Candorous. But, as you see, there is a Mandalorian corpse here, with a Durasteel alloy and a response package, and over here is some Kinnereth eggs. You could smash them! For dark set points. I mean, I could show you real quick if I really wanted to. Items received. Mm. That dark side? You received an item. <laughs> Alright. Received an item for it, but... 
I'm not gonna do it because it's evil. <laughs> it's literally killing young uh, baby uh, carrots. Crystal found remains the egg. It's crystal red. Of course, they're crystal red crystals. Anyways, <laughs> let's not do that because it's a jerk move to do. I'm not gonna kill babies. Anyways, crystal formation. You acquired a light crystal. This crystal is, as we found is more up here, is a yellow crystal. Close the yellow inner light, and now we just look around for more crystals. Formation. Grab another light for crystal. I think this is green. I'm pretty sure. No, it's Rubot. This is an upgrade crystal. It will be swapped out with other crystals, but this one specifically does. It crystals mind unfair ephemera themis. It produces a clearly defined blade that a Jedi can equally focus on, basically increasing attack. Rubot, I usually have my thing because it increases the total damage they can do. And here is another item. Uh, another crystal. This one being blue. Blue! Alright, another crystal formation. This one being Rubot. So now we have two Rubots, able to put in both of our lightsabers. Again, you could destroy the character crystal eggs, but I won't do that. We grabbed another lightsaber crystal. Only told me what lightsaber crystal it was. This one being green. The fastest crystal used in the construction of lightsaber crystal is faintly with the inner looking light. I like the, I like green lights in the color. They're kind of my favorite. I shouldn't. Dude. I am not going to. Maybe if I do a dark side playthrough, but not now. And the last crystal, by the way, is a Bondar. This crystal is mined on the far orbit asteroid uh, circling the Alderaan system. It produces a volatile beam that oh, pulses on impact, discharging part of its energy into an opponent. Basically doing stun damage. Again, I'm not going to do that, because it's mean and, and very much evil action. Anyways. Also, having a red crystal is pretty cool, I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> Anywho, let's head out and head back in. Well, we did all the side quests. You know, I could do this. I could return to the Evan Hawk. So we can do the two quests that are there. We did everything out here, so. So we're going to see in the ruins. Hmm. Return to the Evan Hawk. Why not? Then the it's on the other side of the planet, and the other stuff's closer, so. Oh, by filling on Terra, Kendris considered to be something of mystery to you. It might be a good idea to get them to know better. Kendris? Yeah, what do you want? I was wondering if you had any interesting stories. Do you want to hear tales of my exploits? Of the wars I've seen and fought? The enemies I've seen die by my hand? <laughs> sure, I'll humor you. My name's Kandorus, of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your 40 years. years. For my people, it is the honor and glory of battle that rules us. It's through combat that we prove our worth, gain renown, and make our fortunes. That was the Mandalorians attack the Republic? The Sith came to us with an offer to fight a worthy enemy in a battle that would be remembered forever. Win or lose, as long as the fight is worthy, then honor is gained. The mm, glory the Sith of having you? over impossible odds is what drives us. If there's nothing at stake, your possessions, your life, your world, then the battle's meaningless. We Mandalore take everything we are and throw it into battle. It's the true test of yourself. The battle against death against oblivion you seek death all life dies eventually a true warrior is one who can beat it down whenever it raises its head but times have changed now the mandalore clans have been scattered across the outer rim the republic is in decline and the sith empire rises to take its place the clans as they were are a threat but the galaxy still fears us <laughs> People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand and fear that. We only wanted the challenge of the battle and glory from it, win or lose. And we lost. But now I have no real challenges. Crushing Davik's enemies and the You're pathetic the gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious of tasks. When I think of the battles I've fought, the thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned, I weep for my past. We will never again speak of this. We've got work to do, so let's get to it. Hmm. 
Yeah, Stop what are you? Okay, so it is level based. Crap. I missed out on a lot of conversations though. Alright. Uh, Bastila, where are you? I'm here. Alright, there you are. Let's talk to Bastila too, because Bastila is important. There you are, Bastila. How can I help? Stop trying to lick the thing. I want to talk about that dream. It was less of a dream and more of a vision. A vision the two of us shared. But I am certainly willing to answer any questions the Jedi Council did not. I still don't understand why we shared that vision. Are you wondering why we shared the vision? Or why we even received it in the first place? To the first, I can only repeat the answer that the Council gave us. Our fates are linked. And for two as strong as we are in the Force, that amounts to a near physical bond. As to the second, I truly don't have an answer for you. The Force works as it will, and perhaps we should be grateful for and what we've been given. And now I'm speaking Okay. How did our fates become linked? I, I don't know. Believe me, I certainly don't find the prospect of being joined to you enjoyable in any fashion. It just seems a little convenient. The Force often seems to cause events that bend the laws of probability, especially with those that are strongly affiliated with it in this respect. You and I will simply have to become accustomed to such convenience. We are the tools of the Force, and we will do as it wills. So, we have no free will of our own, then? Quite the contrary. Ours is the ultimate free will. The Force is our destiny, but the choices we make along it are ultimately our own. I have another question. What would you like to know? Why? Why did we dream of Malak and Revan? Perhaps because we desired to. Perhaps because they came to this planet and were strong enough in the Force to leave a, a trace. What do you mean by a trace? They did something important here. Of that, I am certain. Maybe simply that we are sensitive to that event. Or it may not. We dreamed about Revan and Malak either because we were meant to or because we Stop needed to. Like there is no other way to look at it. What do you think Malik and Revan were doing? I have no idea. It was obviously important, however. That is why we must investigate this further. I'm not sure you like the idea of you being in my dreams. And are you so certain that it is not you in my dreams? Pretty certain, yet... Yeah. I suppose that's possible. Regardless of which it is, our fates are linked. The vision was doubtless meant for us both. You think we will see more of these visions? With luck, we will. I would rather not rely on such visions to guide us, but when we have so little else to go on, and the Girl. galaxy hangs in the balance. Why do we dream about that? It seems like we need to dream about our enemies. And what else should we dream about except that which is most important to our fate? We dreamed about Revan and Malak either because we were meant to or because we needed to. There is no other way to Girl. look at it. Sorry. Sounds like my cabinets. Alright, that's all I wanted to know. As you wish. You really should return our thoughts to business anyway. Alright. How can I help? You know this place? Dantooine is a peaceful and pastoral I'm really sad about that, but I missed out on our conversations because I didn't talk to anyone. Mostly what you will find here are ranches and farmers. I I find it a tranquil place like few in the galaxy. The perfect site for the Jedi Enclave. You will like it here. That's all fair. Then I suggest we move on. This means we're probably not going to get the the, uh, the quest for Basila. Maybe, because Basil has a lot of conversations. I mean, a lot. Like, she, after, I think out of all the party members, she has the most conversations the entire game. That or Candorous. That, Candorous, and Basil have the most conversations. And I just now started talking to Candorous, I probably won't get all the, the dialogue for him either. Well, it's always a dark side playthrough. <laughs> uh, okay, first up first on, the, on our list of agenda, let's go and speak to, well, the, well, the person who ran into the Jedi Enclave. Remember that person that was just kind of sitting there? Well, I should know the person was no, there's no person sitting there, but there was a second bunk. Well, go inside of it and you'll find Semt and Elise, or Ellis. I, I took the loss of my droid much too hard. I feel I must apologize. There's no need. But I must. I was much too attached to my droid. It was all that was left of my husband, you see. Maybe I thought that through the droid, my husband could live again, be with me still. I think we understand. Love can do strange things to anyone. But I went too far. I could not see what was missing in living a normal life. Fortunately, in my grief, I returned here and ran into Samt, an absolutely fascinating man. 
it seems quite nice. Sam and I got to talking, and well, we have a lot in common. I think we'll be seeing more of each other. It's funny how things work out in the end. Maybe there is such a thing as I mean, we're, you're literally in a Jedi enclave. But I think we should be going now. We both look like the Jedi. There's literally, so much more to thing. talk about. I just wanted to thank you for what you've done for me and what you tried to do. Goodbye and thank you. No problem, Elise. And then we talk to Sam too. Oh, never mind. We can't talk to Sam because Sam's apparently, apparently, completely a robot, and his kid has turned to NPC mode. <laughs> All right. So let's go in our journal and Candorus. Yeah, we'll speak to him about it later, but I think I no wait, no, we can. We can still do it. I think it refreshes every time the, the area loads. Or you leave the uh in area and go back. So Basila, we'll find out more Basila after we leave the Jack Enclave. Candorus, where the freaking egg are ya? Candorus? Candorus? Sure. Let's talk. Yeah, what do you want? No, it isn't. You All right, never mind. Let's talk to the guy about his, you know, thing. John. About his dead, about... You know. Now those Mandalorians know what it's like to be hunted, but now that you've killed some of them, they won't stop. I fought and killed their leader. Thank you, young master. My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Here is the reward I promised you. Thanks, John. Again, I thank you. I will be sure to tell the council of your great deed. All right, and we got a thousand credits. And now let's look for some emu. Do we have some things? We can talk to Adam. Adam Lark. So you're selling. Your cast is. Oh, we cannot afford that. <laughs> Goodbye, this so is not good. Anyways, let's see what we can sell. So let's sell the. Could sell the Atani line armor. Bond and heavy, but I could sell that. It is just worse than the Achani. The combat suit will sell that. We'll sell the military suit. We'll sell. Keep that for now. Sell the Volgar shock stick. Sell the long sword. Keep the Forza Viper blade. Sell. Yes. Because so, now, one thing I actually do end up doing later is selling a bunch of my lightsabers because you get so many late game. That you just kind of it's kind of worth it. Just sell it. Cause you get, and I mean like many, I mean like you get over like a hundred. You just get, you just get start selling the people. So the ion blaster, I'm not gonna use it. And the ion rifle. So the sonic rifle. Sell a couple of frag grenades. And neural band, light, I should sell the neural band cause we have stuff better. The light scan visor is not that good. Strength stabilizer, but the stabilizer gauntlets. The Chinese shield. Pretty darn good. We'll keep that. Mandalorian Shmeli Shield. Really keep that. Okay. Response package. Keep that. Pretty sure I have that in me, but. Anyways. I. Well. It's Pooge. You have one in me. And I should have one in Canvas. Okay, you have Con. So that doesn't help you as much as. Strength. Strength and plan. But, anyways, that's enough for that. Yes. Let's head back to the Jedi Enclave. And finish. Oh, actually, no. We need to. We need to not be the Jedi Enclave at all. We need to go and actually get the thing. Forgot what we were doing for a second. Oops. Oh, birds. <sighs> I really need to start to focus on the task at hand. I don't want to. Like, if. No. no. Smacked. Is dead. I really should have gotten stunned because Basil had it. Sorry if I sound like really tired. Uh, or like really like that. And at least uh, I, just, I had a really rough day at work today. Anyways, let's head to the strange ruins. Now I'm going to do the front of the main quest. We did literally any, everything on Dantooine, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, into the strange ruins we go. Now we'll actually open. Before they wouldn't have opened. Head into the ruins. There. Ooh, spooky. Yeah, what are you? No, no more. How can I help? Yeah, I probably should talk to them. 
Through the main door. And there's an ancient droid. In your language you don't understand. Ah, uh, that was Hadis. I heard Sleebo, which is Hadis. What language is that? What are you trying to say? <laughs> That's Tuscan Raider. I still don't understand. Basil, do you have any idea what this droid is saying? I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. Hey, I understood that. I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. But why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? Copy your location was vital to ensure that the slaves of Tutu this temple accord to the wishes of the builders. But you are not the slave species. Neither are you are the builders. You are likely the one who came before. It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. What are you Are you some type of guardian? I am the overseer. The builders program me to enforce its blade across the spawn of the slaves while this mobile went to this tower the Star Forge is constructed. The Star Forge? At project completion, all slaves were executed. I was programmed to serve the builder return in search of knowledge of the Star Forge. Well, those guys, the people who built this temple are I'm not good. Who are these builders you keep talking about? The builders are great masters of the galaxy, the conquerors of all worlds, the rulers of the infinite empire, and the creators of the Star Wars. These builders must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy. But they never constructed an empire. That's your In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. Droids speak cell cats. Maybe they were the builders. <laughs> Something must have happened to wipe the builders out. Their empire of the builders is infinite and everlasting. None can stand against their might and the power of the star. Have you seen a builder recently? I have been here since the completion of this monument. In all this time, no builder has returned to seek information on the star. How long have you been here? My car launch will serve as a mark over ten full revolutions of the Sith Autobus planet. Around the sun, this is the builder's left. Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than mm. the Republic itself. There must or be. Or maybe some not, mistake. because this piece is lost. There is no mistake. The builders constructed my chronological symmetry using the technology of the Star Forge itself. My calculations are infallible. What is the Star Forge? The Star Forge is the glory of the Builders, the apex of their infinite empire. It is a machine of infinite might, a tool of unstoppable conquest. What is it? What does it do? The, the Star Forge is the glory of the Builders, the apex of their empire. It is a machine of invincible might, a tool of unstoppable conquest. So you have no idea what it is. The droid is obviously not programmed with the knowledge. You know, we probably seek. for obviously. Starforge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. Though in fact, it could be anything. It could have a factory or a weapons plant. Could have been a factory or a weapons plant? Maybe. That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet so quickly. But I suspect the Starforge is more powerful than a mere factory. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. Where can we find the Starforge? Now the slaves are gone, my purpose is to aid those who seek knowledge of the Starforge, if they are worthy. Ones who came before you, the one like you, not builders, but not slaves, sought knowledge of the Starforge and its origins. They proved themselves already. They discovered the secrets of the Starforge locked beyond the sealed door behind me. But there was another who failed to unlock the secret and paid the ultimate price. The droid must be talking about poor Nemo. Nemo! Council sent him here to investigate. Aww, I like that guy. Life. Did you kill the Jedi over there? 
I am not programmed for combat. I do not harm the one who failed. Temple's own protections will destroy those who seek knowledge of the Starforge if they are deemed unworthy. How can I prove myself worthy? Enter the proving grounds to the east and west within those who understand the will of the builders can unlock their secrets and open the door. But those who fail will be destroyed by the power of the temple itself. More than this, I am not programmed to say. Revan and Malik unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Starforge. Now Malik is using the Starforge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Starforge. The Republic is depending on us. Alright. So, let's find door number one! It is a guardian droid. Actually, cancel. Use night speed. And mercifully, mercifully, mercifully. God. Okay. Okay, we're doing two damage. I think it's only weak to the force. Or viral plates. Uh, Basil? Okay, and the first of the three to be destroyed. Okay, unblock the way. I mean, right. and there's no remains in the droid. So now we have an ancient terminal with old flags that predate the purple book itself. Oh, that's an interesting symbol. Kind of looks like a mouse. Also, it kind of looks like a lot of things in this game, including the droids. Anyways, with this for a couple of droid upgrades, including a motion sensor Mark One, a new PVD piece of gear. So, so droid play cleaning type two. All this is more practical planning than ever. Hey you. This device allows the droid to detect creatures hidden by stealth fields. The basic model is the most inexpensive of the type, but it's commonly available in many worlds, including ancient empires, apparently. So yeah. Anyways, let's use one of the ancient terminals. The ancient program hums and throbs as you approach it. The screen flickers to life, and a stream of a hall of a stream of incomprehensible letters scroll across it. Talk to the computer. Here we go silent, a screen blank, a few extremely unusual characters that appear on the screen. We erase a rapid sequence of tones, you hear one of those tones softly echoed near the data pad. A small data receptacle opens the front of the ancient machine. Insert your data pad into the receptacle. The computer seems to be interfacing with the data pad, the screen goes blank again, and then more familiar characters begin to appear on the screen. Here's the Jofs Oiwiwun So He Is Itasuki. Talk to the computer. Here goes silent again. Humming softly, appears processing data from the data, your data pad. The data pad is released from the your receptacle. The machine goes silent, and for a moment, before flicking life again. Data interpretation. Interpretation complete. Language analysis complete. Continue. Ic interrogative. Identify the three primary life giving seed world types. Alright, we don't know this. But, if I remember right, the three are grassland. Volcanic? Or. Oceanic, desert. Vegetarian Kazoo is the death guardian activated. Yeah. And the thing will basically activate every time you kill us. Never told us what it was! And now Gander's an unfire, of course. Okay, maybe I should have killed up to their swords, because they seem to be doing better than the lightsabers. This part of the fucking bullshit You shall fall. One of the books tell ya, uh, which the Infinite Empire stuff was very weak to lightsabers compared to regular weapons. This game is the absolute. Try to my diver swords. There we are. Alright, Nebo's remains, by the way. We need the lightsaber. And in the, in the crystal sigil and a Jedi Ranger, which I'll do right away. Oh, I'm turning combat. Okay, let's close it. Put it there. Alright, the Jedi Knight's Rope. Okay. I'm not in combat! Anyways. Okay, Sigil. Sigil. 
Mind of the Sigil System. This crystal is costly, but valued for legend of lightsaber. It produces a fiercely bright beam that sears in contact, inflicting great damage. Doing burn damage. We also got a new, uh, well, something. A Jedi Knight Rope. Giving def two defense. Tip me members of the Order typically wear plain or unassuming garments, but the variant offers the additional protection needed for the Jedi, influencing important events. Okay, can I equip now? Do I need to leave the dungeon? Anyways. Alright, I have some questions. Uh, where are you guys again? I'm really now. Okay, I was wrong about the ancient types, but they're just used. I forget how to actually learn it. Hmm. Basically, these are the types that are actually able to produce life. So I think it's grasslandic, volcanic. Oh, okay, no, 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 no. Okay, now we can actually kill, hurt this thing, so we can kill it for. Because we no longer have swords, but I have lights to We should hurt this thing. So yeah, actually, I was curious about equipping Vassal with lightsaber uh, with, with a gun, seeing how she does. Honestly, you're a heavy blaster. Seeing how she does with it, I think she might do better. Honestly, because she yes. does. Uh, okay, so 12, 12, 10. Okay, so she has the same hit, so why was I to throw at this? 12, 10, so 1, 1. Okay, this does way more damage, but she is actually yes. better with this, the same. Oh, no, that was a dex one, which is the exact same. Are lightsabers dex based? This is actually a question I have. Are lightsabers dex based, not strength based? So. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so let's do Grasslandic, Volcanic. Nope. <laughs> okay. Grasslandic, Desert. No. <laughs> Alright. Grasslandic, Oceanic, and Arboreal. Even though Arboreal is an air planet. But yeah. Breaking the life seal. Alright. And now the opposite will be the death seal, which is the exact opposite of the life seal. Of course. But, okay, am I now able to equip this? Yes, I am. Okay, there we are. And I've equipped Massalo with actual weapon, with actual armor. You know? She should, probably should be equipped with it. So now she's equipped with actual armor, and now we have a nice blue robe. And now yes. she is equipped with an actual Jedi robe. Instead of whatever the heck she was wearing before. So. Yes? Yeah. Uh, put yourself the actual swords again. Okay. Open. Uh, night speed. And do that. And. Why are you running? You have the ability to force jump. Use it! I'm in frozen. Destroy it! Destroy it! Ah! Alright, and there we are. Again, weak to swords, not the lightsaber. Let's go with two blue lightsabers, because why not? Let's see what it looks like. Alright. Same thing as last time. Talk to computer. Use your data pad. Talk. Alright, identify the three primary death giving blood C types. So I'll be oceanic. Life Guardian. Oh, fucking A. Of course it was. You know, I could actually do this. I could have a lightsaber and a sword. Nothing's happening. Saber bow. And there he goes. Sir. I should have these, uh... Balance. No, they aren't. The lightsaber's not a balance. Hmm. The force fights with me. Alright. Now, it's... Desert, volcanic, and barren. There we are. Let's see the lightsaber. This one. And let's open this door to the seal, which is now open. Open it. And we have one last room, but nothing in it. But in here, we know what we want. This is a 
map. Even I can tell the map. I haven't. Chart. Revan and Malik must have used this to lead them to the Star Forge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Star Forge ourselves. But we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. So what is the Star Forge exactly? I, I don't know. But Revan and Malik were very interested in finding it. It must be a tool of some type. Or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the council can tell us more, but I think this map might be the key to finding the Star Forge, whatever it is. See this world here? This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashek and Tatooine, and here's Manan. But there are pieces oh. missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates, corrupted data, and there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Star Forge itself might be. Perhaps the worlds have more clues. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Star Forge, but I know that Revan and Malik visited Korriban at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Star Forge and some way to destroy it. We must inform the Council hmm. of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action, though I suspect our task has only just begun. And we now have a quest. Well, complete a couple quests. So, let's talk to Vasilis. She doesn't How can I help? You look like something's bothering you. No, not bothering me. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. I think you're more than just interested in the bond between us. Wait, wait, can I judge? Please. I'm a Jedi. Such feelings, such attractions are, well, they're beneath me, quite frankly. I admit, yeah, I find you there. intriguing. I, I, I mean, I find your command of the Force <laughs> intriguing, but my interest in you is purely academic. Surely you can understand why. Our fates are strongly connected. So connected that a literal bond has been forged between us. Force. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. Our relationship? <laughs> Is that kind of a clumsy come on? I was referring to the bond we share. The one the Jedi Council spoke of. If I was actually interested in you, rest assured I could come up with a much better approach than this. Okay, I'll answer a few questions. Don't worry, these are simple questions, nothing too intrusive. First, what kind this of background is required, do you by have? The way, if you want to work, if, that is required questions, by the way. All right. <laughs> so, what are the, what kind of background do you have? Nothing extravagant. I'm a soldier. I'm a hut it's, it's in human form, planning to overthrow the, 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 the Republic. Or I'm sick of answering questions. I'm gonna say nothing extravagant. I'm a soldier. Good. On which planet were you born? Uh, Duralia. It's a remote system. Why? Excellent. Your current age is? <laughs> 3,012. Healthy living, you know. <laughs> well, those are all my service records. Yes. Well, the truth is, I was studying how you responded to my questions. Your reactions helped me judge you. This was a test for me to learn more about your character. And what did you find out? You were honest, which is good. And you treated this as a serious matter, which it is. This bond we share will shape both our destinies. It is not to be taken lightly. But I imagine you've had enough questions for a while. So many things have happened to you since Taurus. It's probably a lot for you to absorb. We can speak again later, after you've had time to think about all this. Alright. By the way, the, te the teasing thing with Basila is required if you, if you if with the cannon route. That is not a joke. Anyways, <laughs> Candorous. Yeah, what do you want? You're I am saying that uh, canonically. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, gonna say, I'm not gonna say it because it's spoilers. You want to do those who are going for a canonical main character. You are proving yourself worthy. The sealed door is open. If you wish to learn the secrets of the Star Force, you must pass through the door into the room beyond. Alright. Kind of messed up, though. The, the Infinite Empire. They really messed up the faction who, who 
built, had, had a bunch of slaves built this place and then executed them, ensuring the secret of the Starforge map does not get out. I... The Infinite Empire is a very interesting faction in a very, very dark-sided one. And by dark-sided one, I mean like they literally are like... are like don't get. I don't mean that in a joking way, I'm like, oh, they're dark side because they're even now in the game, but it's their dark side faction. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, let's head back to, uh, maybe build the Star Forge, which. I mean, this area was teeming with the dark side, it kind of is, uh, you know. Yeah. Alright. Top of one half! I don't know, I keep doing that. Hmm. What do you do with the Oh yeah, I have the strength boosting arm of the project done right here. But, rest in peace, Nemo. You're a good man. Alright. So let's go back to the Jedi Council and we'll turn in the quest. Well, we'll let them know about the information we learned about. You know? The very, very important information which will basically determine our quest from now on. So, as it adds, I'll probably in the episode and then do a huge talking episode. What the frick? Alright. And, Jar Leston is there. But I've, but first, I want to upgrade our gear. Bench, lightsabers. Let's do our red one and replace it with a green crystal. And also put in this one, we can also see the special properties. Attack, attack one, damage one. Bondars hit makes stun. And this one adds energy damage. Honestly, this one might actually be more of a game because it adds extra, an extra D6 of damage to your, to your hits. As you can see. That. Yeah, it adds an extra D. It basically enhances your damage, doing two hits of damage. So we'll do that for our main lightsaber crystal, and then we'll ha have it stun. Assemble. And our secondary lightsaber, we'll give it to Rubat crystals. Or I guess we can only put one. And we'll put one in the Basilisk crystal. Because why not? So now, also, let's change the lightsaber color of the, our other one. Just to change it up from the blue, we'll change it to yellow. Right? So let's have a yellow and green lightsaber. I'll be doing this constantly of changing the lightsabers. Just to make it look cool. You have returned, young Padawan. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? We found an incomplete star map, and mentioned something called a star forge. This news of a star forge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi archives to see if there's any mention of the star forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when Sprint! we are done. Sprint! Padawan, you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi know victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this star forge. But all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful tool of the dark side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban, and we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. I am ready to do the Council's will. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war, by defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Am I, to, am I to undertake this task alone? Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith. But it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you. 
For there is a powerful connection. Bas- oh, wait, no, Basil, I see. A connection that might be that the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany you. Oh. After long yeah. deliberation, we have granted her request. Juhani nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. Oh, Lord. There are others who want to join me. Of course, those who aided you on Terrace will also come. Yeah. They possess skills you may I'm find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your uh, success. Why, you will but... not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, hmm. nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. Yes. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. You count on me. I will not fail. You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner, the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this Pretty quest easy, to find actually. the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. Hmm. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. I mean, in this game, by the way. Just don't be a jerk and kill people. May the force <laughs> be with you. Just don't kill people randomly and don't and don't eat babies. That's all you need to do not to fall to the dark side in this game. Don't eat babies. Be nice. It ain't that hard. It's not hard to not want to eat babies. Anyways. Anyways, do you have something you want to ask me? I do. How did you know? Oh, you're... Keep staring at me. See, no. Well, your face is scrunched up like a Kinrath pup. A, a Kinrath pup? It most certainly is not. I am a Jedi, remember? I have far too much mental discipline to reveal mm. what goes on inside my mind with such obvious physical clues. My thoughts remain hidden, including whatever my feelings are for you. I, I mean, whatever I feel... I mean, whatever I think about you... Hmm. You're cute when you're embarrassed. Wait, oh, okay. Or, actually, that's one of your feelings for me. I... That is you... Why must you be so impossibly infuriating? You know very well what I am really talking about. I am referring to the bond between us, the one the Jedi Council spoke of... Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels, and what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, If you've seen the Dark Side you. universe, yes it can! With with uh, Evan Rath potentially being a baby eater who slaughters his way through the galaxy on a path to the Star Forge. Anyways, you weren't okay. What? What do you think I should be? What do you think I should? I don't do? think there's much you can do. If things were different, I would recommend several years of training under one of the Jedi Masters. Yeah, that's not But possible. I fear that won't be possible. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. Why are you getting so upset? I'm sorry if I come across as harsh, but I am concerned for you, for our mission, and for myself as well. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Mm. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. It works both ways, doesn't it? You can always stay strong. Yes, that is true. I will do my best to guide you, but I am no master. Not yet. And there are times when I find the sheer strength of your power almost overwhelming. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. I would appreciate any help you could offer. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return to our mission. And Basila has a new thing. As things have taken her upon a role of teacher upon herself, choosing to lecture you about the evils of the dark side. Understand, we'll accept the dawn evil that she share. And we have a quest to the Fox Star Forge, our main, our new main quest. So this will basically progress with each star map we collect on each of the planets. 
And then there's Johanny. The Jedi Council said he will cover Johanny, a gun Cathar Jedi. She seems to be still, still troubled by her emotions. Perhaps it's time. It's time you can help her. Fast How can I help? Never mind. Can I suggest? Uh, anything about you? Yeah, what are you? No. You. Okay. Okay, let's head back to the thing. And we'll head right back out with a certain character. Name mission. Also, I really like the look of the, the green and yellow lights coming together. Looks really cool. You know? I don't want a word if I may. The room is what you know, most reads me the council. Let's talk there. I said you could help us fight Malak the Sith. How do you know the council gave me a mission? I cycle in the council chambers. You're the hurt in there for quite some time. I've just seen the conflict in your tasks before. Leaders and the Namas need to be like thinking they're going to endanger the order of the Republic. The task the council has given you is your order is not mine. And we'll be pushing you well. We want you to be careful. There are many evils out there, many dangers. The Sith are not the only minions of the dark side. What can be more dangerous than the Sith? Master Dora has been training me to succeed in his chronicle here at the Academy. My studies say I've come across tales of creatures that have worn to the dark side. Monsters are pure. The worst of all is the Terran Tech. There's a Terran Tech. A Terran Tech. A Terran Tech. I think that feeds the blood of those who are strong in the force. Over the centuries, many Jedi fall into their ravenous hunger. A Terran Tech. I believe an animal like this could pose a threat to the Jedi. Well. What makes you so a creature so dangerous? Terran Tech is a predator, and we should know its prey. They are incredibly strong, with a primal cunning, they have been inborn the force. There are some of the Tech is a monster bred for the ancient Sith. Are Terran Tech? Okay, unfortunately, unfortunately, the Terran Tech is red rare, and they only dwell in the most dangerous darkest of the places. In fact, not what has been seen for nearly 40 years. Then why are you so worried about them now? So the first time a Terran Tech has been there for a long period of time, many believers think it's been only dormant for years, only to rise up under the power of the dark side of Wax. I fear Mark's rise to unwalk these creatures from the dormant state. Once the Sith are beaten, I would not be surprised the Council organized another great hunt to try and exterminate them. Great hunt? What's that? The Tongue is organized by the Jedi Council to stop the Wolves of Kung. Jedi Force scattered across the galaxy, helping to build upon the devastation. Many Jedi branches throughout the period, disappearing with variety of worlds without warning. We don't know they've been slain until their mutilated bodies can be discovered. The Council of Death's Kingdom insists that the Terran Tech were behind the killings. It was decided that the galaxy would be purged from these essential monsters, though the great cost was too high. So the Jedi killed these creatures? The Terran Techs are an abomination. They are ruthless engines of death and destruction. The Council had no choice to destroy them. For the greater good of the galaxy. And many Jedi banded together and journeyed to find the respect of poverty the Terran Techs. The Great Hunt did not rest until all the creatures were insane. Or almost. There are rumors of Terran Techs. What on the planet Korban, a dark world that was done believed to be the birthplace of the Sith, uh, that were ex-Rakoons corrupted during the First Sith War. They never went to Korban. The Council, fearing more Jedi might fall to the dark side, said the Great Hunter should be over. Though three Jedi appointed were appointed to continue the work. The work akin to killing the Terran, of the Terran to attack you. The Jedi chose to continue the work of their own, where Duran killed Roma. Gun hath Zabesh and Shail Nur. These three shared a powerful bond. Each of them was sword of the light. Keldroma is the is the brother of who of who is Keldroma, by the way, one of the Dark Lords. Talks about that they could have a deep pair of tech they found, and by supporting each other, they could resist the temptation of Korban and the Lord of the Dark Side. But none of the three survived. The masters felt that one of them with the Force were when they left this world. If they were slain, one of the monsters they sought. The council felt it was too dangerous to send anyone else in search of the remains, so they were exactly not known. Well, if the death serves or warns you, Padawan. Thanks for the warning, I'll be careful. Final war can reveal Padawan, if you don't the Terran Tech. If you do, you may suffer the same fate as those who disappeared before after the Great Hunt. Yes, that is an interesting thing. It's one of the characters we mentioned was was uh, Desra Keldroma. Desra Keldroma is the younger brother of Ulik Keldroma, the Padawan of Exar Kun, and one of the Sith Lords in the First Great Sith War. Eventually betraying the Sith and joining the Jedi again. Alright, right. let's see. So we have Sanaki's Blade, which is pretty darn good. Alright, so I just want to see if I can buy anything. Nothing I can really buy. Alright, I'll save up money. I could buy all your Prazak cards. I forgot to buy the other guys' Prazak cards. I'm buying these ones. 
All right, we saw, we, we saw the Je oh Jedi Knight robes, oh, the red ones. Nice. All right, so I could sell these lightsaber crystals. I really wanted to, but I'm not going to. We need some. All right, frag mines. There we are. Mines. All right. I think there's. You also sell a bunch of the, the, uh, the droid stuff because there's only well a few droid companions, so might as well sell a bunch of them. But let's head to the Evan Hawk. And before we leave. Let's go and do some stuff in the Evan Hawk. Or that's the workbench. Okay, the range weapons. Let's uh Be Karth's blaster is fully assembled, so let's do Bendex Blaster, which is what uh Karth also has. So get rid of some of these inventory stuff. Another hair trigger if we can upgrade. But anyways, so we have missions fire blades equipped on Zalvar currently, so boop boop boop. This is also a fun, nearly fully upgraded one, so now missions Zalvar missions weapon is pretty good. Also, each one by the way upgrades into different effects, by the way. Just because it says certain things doesn't mean it's the same thing for another character. Just let you know that. As you can see. As you can see by the things, that these are now two energy weapon bonuses, while this one is a bunch of damage bonuses. So it actually is kind of worth it to upgrade each weapon to max. Just because, you know, they do get their things. Our couple mod armor. Boop, boop, boop. Now he, now, of course, immune, immune to, them to, uh, well, to mind altering. Things different. This because there's the cold. Alright, there we are. Get out of the inventory. Alright, Candor, can yeah, I talk to you about you? anything? Do you, can you give me some adrenal stimulants? <laughs> Here's a speed boosting stim. There anything else? So basically, with him, you can get some stims out of him. Then we use this for unlimited money if you want to. Hey, don't worry. I think you've got enough there as it is. You don't want to overload yourself on stims. Otherwise, you might destroy your adrenal system. A real warrior knows his own limits and doesn't overestimate himself. There anything else you need? All right. So yes, he has a limited amount of stims he can give you, but he but you can talk to him to give yourself some stims, like battle stimulants, adrenal st strength ones, speed ones, stamina, alacrity, just all around good stuff. And he, he does, get, and he gives it every time once you start running out. So talk to him every every once in a while hey to run stims. What? Okay, and with mission you can play Fazak. And you make security spikes too. No problem. Any? Don't. All right. Come on. Okay. You make some security spikes hey with her. Okay. No problem. Any? Okay. Any? No, anything else you need? No problem. Any? No problem. Anything else you need? Make security no, spikes. Any? Sorry, I don't have one handy right now. Besides, we've got plenty of security spikes already. Not much point in overloading on them, is there? Yeah. Every single character has their own little function on the ship. Her is. Well, now we just got a ton of security spikes. Literally enough for just a good old, well, well, six. Which is better than what we had. Also, let's give this to him, because I like red one. Not for, for Evan. I have the blue, actually. I like a little more, actually, thinking about it. Give the red to, uh, Basila. This more. Mm -hmm. Key three! Uh, can you make a constructive programming spike for me? This way you do individual. Alright. Salvar! <laughs> can make grenades! And once you're ready, you don't really want to place it very well together. You swim up first. Right. And we just got a lot of grenades. Which we'll probably sell or use. I don't know. Maybe one another. But yeah, we got six frag grenades, three concussion grenades, two adhesive grenades, one crabbling grenade, and six ion grenades. Again, pretty darn good. And then we be, when we eventually get a medical character, we can have a character create med packs for us. And anyway, here's Juhani, a new party member. I feel I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before in the grove. It was wrong of me. You thought the Sartre said I consumed you. It's nothing. I am sorry for attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I, I think Juhani is one of the few Kikar Prime members that you can actually kill. My own. So don't worry, Juhani. I forgive you. Thank you. It is most reassuring to know that you can forgive me, sure. even though I try to take your life. 
I can only hope also, Juhani is one of my favorite party members, by the way. Together, I will succeed. Yeah, we got yeah. Juhani now on the thing. Pa Juhani apologizes for you. Act towards you. She seems to be very hard on herself for her actions. If you talk to her more, you may find what we're out of her. How may I? What if we could talk? What is it you would like to speak to me about? How did you get? How did you become a Jedi? How I came to be a Jedi? I am sure you would not find it very interesting. Are you sure you would like to hear? Yes, please continue. Well, it goes back a number of years. Back on my home world, we did not see Jedi very often, especially where I lived. Where'd you live? The hind end of space. A pit of a world, to be sure, where Jedi rarely tread. But we had heard of them. Well, everyone had, so that is not to be unexpected. Champions of truth, defenders of justice, Heroes of the Republic. It was very easy for a child to be enthralled by their image, their mystique. Maybe I was one of those children. How'd you get interested in the Order? When I saw a Jedi for the first time, they lived up to everything my imagination had created them to be. I was old. Enamored. And maybe a little enamored. Enamored? They were quite striking, especially the tales of their leader. From that moment on, I knew that I would have to try to become a Jedi, to lift myself out of the rut I had been living in for years, and to make a real difference as the Jedi were. <laughs> the foolish delusions of a child, but this child made it happen. As soon as I was able, I left my world and went in search of them. I found them and was accepted. I had been living my dream on Dantooine for several years before you came. Although, perhaps I was not entirely ready for it. Or not completely suited to the task. Otherwise, I would not have fallen. But thanks to you, I have been redeemed. Perhaps I may yet live to see that dream of mine come true. Come, there is much we should do. Let us not waste time talking. Action is what is needed. And? How Anything else? Talk. What is it you would like? Are you doing all right? I, I, I thank you for your concern, but I am still a bit shaken. All right. Why? What's wrong? I have been thinking about myself, about Quatra, and about my fall to the dark side. I keep thinking that it was my anger that drove me that far, that nearly damned me. I look inside myself now, and I can still see it. I still feel it. Perhaps you need more time. Or if the taint can't be removed. No. Nope. More, more time, time would do me good. Time to distance myself from that anger. I think that is why the Council agreed to send me with you. They think, perhaps, that in your company, I will be able to free myself from it. If I see you begin to slip back, I will intervene. I thank you for your concern and your acceptance. I will strive to prove that I am worthy of your company and trust. Also, fun fact to Juhani. Juhani is another is a romance option for, uh, but not for uh, male characters. Only female characters can actually romance Juhani, which I think is a really cool detail, actually. Also, with her being like one of the first lesbian characters in a video game, so it's pretty cool. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Alright, well, already talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? Alright, nothing for now. Perhaps later. Uh, yeah, especially for like, you know, 2003 when this game released. <laughs> yeah. Johnny's also just all around one of my favorite party members to use. But, in here is the storage room. It's like the supplies and storage supplies and emergency food and supplies. Little box. Anyway, in here, I think this is storage. Again, you have no need for storage because you have unlimited inventory space, so why would you store anything? If anything, it's a detriment to store things. You have, like, again, unlimited inventory space. No need to store. At all. There's no there's no downside, there's no, you know, incentive not to. Wait, yeah. I'm actually really sad I missed out on the tone conversation because it is on level up. And if and if you can't just get more after you do it, you have to talk between levels. So I probably just missed a ton of conversation topics. But anyways, I speak with Bastila. How can I help? You want to speak with me? Yes, I did. I wanted to speak to you about our mission and what lies ahead for us. Bastila seems fate, to be different. Or the force is driving us into a confrontation with the Dark Lord. You must prepare yourself for when we face Malak. 
the confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. Did it truly kill Darth Revan? It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. We did not kill Revan, however. A killing Revan is what you're famous for. Our mission was to capture Revan if possible. It was Malak who turned on his own master, firing upon Revan's ship while we were still on board. Yeah, I already said it was his one. desire to kill us and his Bad master both. Right? Thankfully, but we I... narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. So Malak did your job for you? As I said, we were there to capture Revan alive. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. Remember that Revan and Malak were once great Jedi, heroes in every sense of the word. They demonstrate the danger of the dark side to us all. I'm sorry, we really shouldn't speak of this anymore. The memory of my confrontation with Revan is painful. Let's Shoot. return to the mission, please. And bum -bum, more stuff with Bastila. Alright, let's talk to Karth. Yes, what's on your mind? Very quiet lately, you know that? Have I been quiet? I suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. Left out of the loop? I don't understand. Left out of the loop, you know, not being told anything, strung along. It's really starting to irritate me. For one thing, I want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. I'm rather curious to know what went on, and why they didn't keep you on Dantooine for training. Isn't that strange? I thought it was more important that I help find the star maps than stay. And why is that? You were a great help on Terrace, but why would they keep you with us? Don't they don't they have to train you? They said the, there's a bond between Bastila and myself. A bond? What kind of bond? You mean to say that they told you that you were tied to Bastila in some way? Huh, <laughs> I have trouble believing that. You're a neophyte Padawan who's been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I am not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. Are you saying? I'm here. Uh, sorry. Are you saying I'm not needed? No, I don't. I didn't mean that you weren't wanted or that I want to go. It's just. Damn it. Well, I'll tell you this much I'm not going to wait around until I'm betrayed again. I am not going to betray you. I am not Saul. Yeah, we'll just see about that, won't we? Look, I didn't mean it that way. I want to get to Saul, not... No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's let's just get on with what we were doing. Yeah, Karth is very deeply traumatized. <laughs> uh, yeah. Karth feels like he's being left out of the loop for the Jedi Council and Basil are concerned because of the betrayals of his past. He's not reaching the situation well. Right the situation well. Hopefully in time you'll come to cope with his emotional demons. In order to meet you from your meeting that could have like And Juhani too. But anyways. I do I need to leave the ship with uh the mission. Because we have a certain side quest for you guys. Uh here. But it has to have mission in here. And I'm also out large, why not? Get the level ups. Anyways, if you leave the ship, you should move forward a bit. And a person walks up to us and gets, gets, gets her pathing confused. Mission, is that you? It's me, Lena, remember? Lena from her back. I was dating your brother back on Terrace. Lena? What are you doing here? Where's Griff? I'm just passing through. Griff and I broke up a few months after we left Terrace together. Probably for the best. Your brother can be charming, Mission, but he's bad news. Don't you start trashing my brother, you cantina rat. Take that back or I'll smack you so hard your head tails will pop off. <laughs> Mission, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting this way? You took her brother away. And left her alone in Paris. You've got your facts a little backwards. Mission could have come with us if she wanted to. It was her choice to stay behind. You liar! Griff told me that you didn't want his little sister tagging along. That's uh... why he had to leave me behind. Is that what the hut spawn told you? I wanted you to come with us, Mission. I even offered to pay for your ticket. Why not? I paid for everything else while I was with that freeloader. But he told me you didn't want to leave Terrace. I said we shouldn't even go then. But he said we'd come back and get you after we struck it rich on Tatooine. <clears throat> Just another one of his lies. No, you're the one who's lying. Griff wouldn't... He wouldn't try to leave me behind. You thought you were better off on Terrace Mission. Think about it. If Griff wasn't trying to ditch you, Mission, then why didn't he tell you where we were going? After we left Terrace, he told me looking after you was holding him back. 
Chris always looking to blame other people for his own problems. That's why he abandoned you. He did the same thing to me, too. As soon as I ran out of money, he started blaming me for all of his problems. Like it's my fault his get-rich-quick schemes never work out. Sounds like you're better off without him. You damn well know it. He's nothing but a sleazy scam artist. If Mission knew it was good for her, she'd forget he ever existed. But Griff is my brother. I, I just can't pretend he doesn't exist. If he was here to defend himself, Lena wouldn't be saying all this bad stuff about him. <laughs> hey, if you want to talk to Griff, go ahead. Last I heard, he was going to make a fortune mm, working the Zerka Corp. Corp mines on Tatooine. But as far as I'm concerned, he's out of my life forever. Griff's better off without you anyway, you table-dancing, brother-stealing, home-wrecker. <sighs> I guess that's my cue to leave then. I didn't mean to upset you, Mission. One day you'll see I'm right about your brother. I only hope it's not too late by then. But yes, we got a new quest. This quest being Mission's brother, Brenda Lena, a old girlfriend of Mission of brother of Mission's brother, Griff. Lena informed Mission that it was it was Griff's idea to leave her behind on Terrace when they left. Also mentioned that Griff was on Tatooine and looking in the Zerp Court mines. Understandably, Mission is very eager to speak with him. By the way, fun fact. Uh, there is a canonical uh, order of planets as well, and the reason I wanted to get that one right now is because missions is uh, we're going to Tatooine. Hey there. And you okay, want to go and just get this before you go to Tatooine? Because if you don't, the, the, bu the, the mission bugs, and you'll never be able to complete it. All right. I'm talking about your brother. Don't tell me you believe Lena's lies. Griff might be working as a miner on Tatooine, but the rest of her story is Bantha Poodoo. You can't trust someone like her. At least Griff's free of her clutches. I'd like to go speak to the Zerka Corp rep on Tatooine if we have time. Maybe I can arrange to see my brother again. We'll find your brother, Mission. I just hope he's not in any kind of trouble when we do. Alright. And we also can level up Zalbar and Mission, because why not? Level up. Skills. Computer use. Get various of it and get a repair as well. And skills. Like yeah, and cunny and uncanny dodge. Uncanny dodge, the character with, un with the uncanny dodge 2 retains the dexterity bonus to defense, even while surprised by camouflage opponents, and also 4 plus on saves against versus grenades. Nice. Should get improved toughness or two weapon fighting. Two weapon fighting is probably better. Actually, yeah, two weapon fighting is better because there is certain weapons that I do want you to get. And then we look at you again. Your, increase your strength. Skills. Superior use. Superior use. And boost repair. And demolition stick. Except. And implant level 3. Now you can equip the strongest of implants. Which is really good. Equip him with good implants. So skills. We'll increase them to 3 again. And feet. We'll get you two weapon fighting as well. Or maybe I'll get you uh, toughness, improved toughness, making you even tankier than you usually are. And now it's just skills. And now Zalvar is pretty strong, as you can probably see. And there's mission. Skills. Uh, Metabolitions, awareness, security. And then we'll put two in superior use. Or should I put it in stealth? Oh, actually, superior use. Alright, and the mission's done. Alright. Good mission some better armor. Could give her this, but it's the same with armor. <laughs> Actually, it's better than that than that in every way. Okay. I'll give you a uh, let's give you a snow. Actually, yes, yes, yes. Stabilizer gauntlets. You can't put that. You can put the heavy blaster though. But yeah, get you dueling, so you'd have better gear with the blaster. But let's see if there's any better blasters I can give you. Destructor pistol. No, it's but it's worse. Even a heavy blaster. Blaster carbine is a rifle, so it's not gonna do good. Destructor rifles, rifle. So we have to. So what's the best blaster you can have? Sadly. And on you, I'm gonna give you the prototype fire blade. So now you have missions fire blade and the regular fire blade. And now he looks like he's willing two toothpicks. So. What? I'm gonna leave the ship again just so I can level up, uh, so I can level up everyone to level 10. So let's do you, and let's also key, key 7 why not, and get him the better gear that we have. What we have? And the level up to honey. Alright, move forward just in case it's a quest. Uh -huh. yeah. Alright, hearth, let's get you tree injury up. And feet. Alright, feet, feet, feet. Let's give you a feet. Uh, let's give you. 
conditioning. Conditioning is pretty good. On oh, yeah. And T7, let's not look at normally, so let's give him... Let's give you a dex upgrade, or maybe a constitution upgrade. Actually, actually, let's give you a dexterity. That's the thing you equipped, and then we'll deliver the skills, which will finish that. Nope, okay, but that's not the kill point, I don't care. Level up skills. Burp, burp, burp. And we'll give you two weapon fighting up. Except, I can narrow the mine, so let's get some more skills. Alright. So now you should have the best skills for weapon with fighting with two weapons. So let's give you some upgrades to your weapons. So we'll give a heavy blaster on both, on both things and a heavy arcania. Give you a regular heavy blaster. We'll take that, that arcania one and give it to mission. Mission disruptor. Let's give you a better piece of armor. So let's give you the best weapon equipped, which probably would be you. I'll give you a give you a. Hmm. We already have the actually this would increase damage, wouldn't? Yes, we'll give that. And we have no items for that. Okay. Alright. And let's do Karth. What? See what see what things we can give you, Karth. Predix gloves are good, because you can see your decks. You've got the energy shield and the energy shield, you've got Dex Blaster and a Karth Blaster, and now I can give a better thing for you. Mainly this. And now Karth looks like a total geek! Anyways. Sure. <laughs> And let's give Juhani some skills. Yes. Juhani. He has to be some level up of the character. Okay, let's give you Tree Injury up. Feats. Let's get you. I'm gonna make you a uh, a two weapon fighter. I'm gonna say this. Juhani is a pretty good do is a guardian. Uh, unlike Basil Sentinel, she is a guardian, being pretty darn good, and she has slow. Dark side power and then eventually comes plague. But anyways, let's let's give her some other skills, mainly. Let's give her that force valor. It's a really good skill to give on probably almost anyways, let's do that to support. No, it's not good. Nothing. Okay, so it's based on my levels. Okay, good. Yes. Alright, and I'll still you again. Attributes, let's get your strength up. And now skills, we'll do you know, do awareness and detriment injury, of course, and empowers. Alright, uh, let's get you... Let's upgrade your, your slow to affliction. Except, level up the skills. Burp, 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 burp. Alright. Uh, let's look at you again, Knight's Valor. Alright, so you level 12, okay. Got it. And then auto level up again, skills. Burp, burp, burp. Alright, and on you, I'm deciding if for shield is good. The guy's temporarily given a defense bonus. Or cure. Hmm. Improved energy resistance. Hmm. I mean, I should give you some more force powers. Or, okay, wound. You have so fast it has. Shock is pretty good. Whirlwind. Whirlwind's really good. Basically being a stunning move that does tons of damage. Being pretty darn good. And let's give you a second lightsaber and give you some cure. So. Uh, okay, let's go from 13 to this. Let's give you the Adrenal Empire. This one actually has seemed to have way less fortitude than reflex, so let's boost your to a really decent one. Give you the genetic ropes, I guess. Give you an shield, and no gear for that. Give you the little headbands, so I can put them in the into the Mandalorian energy shield. Papia. And now here's Juhani. Sure. Cool. Alright. This, I think, is where I'm going to end this episode. Next time, let's play. I forgot to talk to, uh, to Juhani at the mission. Hey there. I've been thinking about Lena and what she said about Griff. You know, how he was always blaming other people for his problems. There might be something to what she said. You mean... You mean you don't believe her story now? No, of course not. Not really. But what if... What if it was his idea to leave me behind? I'm not saying Griff would just abandon me, but maybe... Maybe he did want to leave me behind. Just temporarily, you know? He might have done that if he planned on coming back later. But things don't usually work out for Griff the way he planned, you know? And that's when he'd get in trouble. He was always borrowing money he could never pay back. He might have been trying to skip out on his debts when he left Harris. He would have to leave his little sister behind so it would look like he was coming back. He sacrificed you to save his own hide? Yeah. Well, no. Not exactly. Look, all I'm trying to say is that the more I think back, 
the more I realize I might be idolizing my brother a bit, not seeing all his faults. I still want to find him. I need to see him again. It's just that I'm not sure how I'll react when I do. When the time comes, you'll know what to say. <laughs> I just think he deserves a swift kick to the groin for what he did now. Maybe. That's we'll not see. the right thing to say. I don't I Again, don't want to judge or him the dark side really Maybe Lena was lying. Turn. Or maybe maybe she wasn't. All I know is I'd like to speak to Griff myself. If we have time, I'd like to go talk to the Zerker Corp rep on tattooing and see what he has to say about where it's my brother Star is now. Wars. All right. Hey there. Uh Sorry. Alright, there we are. So what we do for now? That's But yeah, I think this is probably gonna be in the episode just see unless there's dialogue with Candorus now that everyone's leveled up and everything. Yeah, what are you Uh Yeah. He's I'm I'm good to talk to a certain uh character to see if they have dialogue, but Actually, even though no one's a heavy weapons builder, I'll stick to this I also need to get you a double-bladed lightsaber, a double-bladed sword. All right, let's see if Basla has anything to say in the, in the episode. Basla and Kari. How can I help? Well, I'd like to know more about you, Basla. Yes, I suppose I can understand your curiosity, given the bond that connects us. Very well. I'll tell you a bit about myself. So, how to me join the Jedi, then? I was found to be strong with the Force at a young age, as most Padawans are. As a girl, I was given to the Order to be trained. When I joined the Order, I left my family on Tal Ravan, as all Padawans do. My family is still there, the last that I heard. I've had little contact with them, as it is discouraged. Discouraged? Why? Relationships with family members are fraught with powerful emotions. Such extremes are to be avoided. Anger and hate are the worst. But even love can lead to folly. You want a lot of love? Emotional entanglements can be dangerous. They can impair rational thought. They can lead to outbursts of uncontrolled emotion. A Jedi must be above such things. You don't sound very... you don't sound very convinced. It can be a hard lesson to learn. I was not on good terms with all of my family, but I do remember missing my father terribly for a long time. Who were you... well, who weren't you on good terms with? I was not on good terms with my mother. I was only a little girl when I left, but I was old enough to resent her and the way she treated my father. She pushed my father into treasure hunting. I spent all my young life on ships, traveling from one false lead to the next. She whittled away my father's entire fortune, and I hated her for it. I think she was relieved to give me to the Jedi, but my father was heartbroken. You ever try to get in touch with your father again? A child is too young to understand the sacrifices that must be made. It's better if they have no contact with their family once they're removed. Once I was older, I realized the wisdom of this policy. A Jedi must do what is needed, personal desires notwithstanding. Love can only obscure and confuse the matter. You sound very sad when you say that. Even a Jedi cannot always control the feelings of the heart. We must do our best to guard against it, no matter what the cost. But some sacrifices are harder than others. I, I do not wish to discuss this anymore. I would rather return to our mission. And Basila now has... Well, told something about her life for the Jedi. She's very adamant with the Jedi policies, having all family relationships as most of the times are inherently uh, dangerous to a Jedi. Yes, what's... And... Nope. You got it. I also think that Basila just unlocked her quest, so I have to leave again and head back in, because I, her quest is also on Tatooine. So... In hers, a lot of characters' quests are activated on Dant uh, well, on Tatooine. A lot of them are activated on Dantooine. Usually, a lot of time when you know when a quest is activated is when they mention people. So, head forward, Basila. Nope. I want to see. Yep, see, maybe. Who knows? But, yeah, I'm going to end this episode now. Next time, let's play KOTOR. We're going to head off world, explore the galaxy, and, well, as you can see, Head across the galaxy to the planets of Kashik, Manon, Tatooine, and Korriban, and Yavin 4, because Yavin 4 is the best, is a DLC. But that's a DLC that we'll head to over the course of the camp of the story, because this has the best gear in the game, and those are the best source of money. So, see you guys then. Have a great day. Bye bye.